Hello everyone, my name is Kitty. Welcome to Watches and Kitty. Well, I'm a watch enthusiast and my no way watch expert. Today we're going to be reviewing an MMI turret watch, MMI watches by Mr. Lee. And let's go ahead and open it. So it comes in a nice box with a sleeve. This one is a rectangular box where most of them are squared. So let's go ahead and open it. It comes in a nice little pouch. Go ahead and open it up. And oh, and we'll pull the watch out. Put that aside. This out. Alright, and let's go ahead and review it. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a look over. This has a mecha quartz movement on it. It has on the top is the start stop for the chronograph. This is a marine chronograph diver. So this starts it. See the hand going around and then it also stops it. And then this one down here will reset it to zero. Right. So on this particular watch this the top one is the minute counter for the chronograph and then over on this side that would be the hours and then this one down here is the running seconds for it so this particular the watch has a loom crown and bezel on it. it has the quick release for go quick release on it. Right. It's a milled inner with a press button, pressed upper clasp for it. Oh, let's open this one back up. Right. And give it a look. Right. This particular watch has the symbol on the back of it, so it's not see-through. It has a screw down. Let's see, where is it? Oops. Here is the quick release pins for the bracelet. You just pull these apart and if I can get it. There we go. So it releases the bracelet and then pushing them back together to put the bracelet back on. If I can get my fingernails in there. Oh, my fingernails don't want to work. Uh. My fingernail keeps sliding off. Hold on a moment. Sorry about that. My nails just kept slipping off of that. I took some maneuvering. So this particular bracelet has a screw link bracelet. It has the five micro adjust, which is a nice feature. It has the 120 click bezel. Oh, that's that's nice. Like that. Go all the way around. Back to the top. A little bit more and right there. Okay. And this is 
particular watch is water resistant up to 100 meters. Let's go ahead and give it a feel. Not feeling any sharp edges on this one. The overall feel of the watch is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and get some measurements on it. Make sure that that is set at zero. Okay, so let's start with, right, and this is 14.1. Right. Then the length of it this way. Right. Right. So we'll go inner. Right. That is forty three point six. For the inner part of it from inside here to inside on the other side so now we'll do the full case length which is 47.4 right then we'll go the bezel 39.6 we'll go across the whole thing including crown that is 43 right go to the first bug twenty one point four on the first one then the last one, 19.8. Then we'll do the clasp. Right, let's see. We'll do this part of the clasp first. So, this one. 21.6 for the sh that one and then up here 23.3 and then with the quick release is 24.9 right let's go ahead and see how it feels on Feels pretty nice. Bracelet feels good on. It's not cutting off any circulation or anything. Right. Good overall feel for it. Right. Let's go ahead and do a final review on it. The overall impression that for this particular watch, I do like the double dome sapphire crystal that this per this particular watch has. I like the five micro adjusts on it. That is a nice feature to always have. If you just need to tighten it or loosen it just a little bit, that's always a nice feature. I'm not a huge fan of the chronograph on any particular watch, but this one is a nice watch to have. The overall impression that I would give this watch is an 8. So, as always, thank you for watching me. This is Kitty with Watches and Kitty. And please like and subscribe. Until next time.